This is the T2V1, a two-place, single-jet, high-performance trainer. The purpose of this film is to familiarize you with aircraft systems and with pre-flight, normal, and emergency operating procedures. The wingspan is almost 43 feet. The fuselage length is about 36 and a half feet. The height from ground line to top of vertical fin is almost 13 feet. The gross weight of the airplane is approximately 16,700 pounds. The hydraulic, fuel, and electrical systems are designed for maximum reliability and simplicity of operation. The hydraulic system operates aileron boost, boundary layer control valves, speed brakes, landing gear, a resting hook, wing slats, and furnishes power for the wheel brakes. In the event of failure of the main hydraulic system, lower the emergency landing gear control lever to the emergency position. The landing gear will extend, but cannot then be retracted. The fuel load, totaling 4,950 pounds, is carried in fixed tip tanks, in a fuselage tank aft of the cockpit, and in wing tanks. Pilot controlled dump switches allow fuel to be dumped from the tip tanks. Fuel is force fed from the tip tanks to the fuselage tank. It is gravity fed to the wing tanks, then pumped directly to the engine. The entire system is fully automatic, requiring no pilot surveillance for continuous operation during flight. The major components of the DC electrical system are the generator, the battery, the battery generator switch, the annunciator panel, and the primary and secondary buses. In the event of generator failure, the generator out light will glow. DC power from the battery is removed from the secondary bus as all available battery power is diverted to the primary bus. To restore power to the secondary bus, place the battery generator switch in the bat only position. Or place the landing gear control in the down position. The major components of the AC instrument power system are a 250 volt ampere inverter supplying AC power to the flight instruments, a 1500 volt ampere inverter supplying AC power to the electronic equipment, the flight instrument power supply switch, and the annunciator panel. The instrument out light on the annunciator panel indicates the failure of the 250 volt ampere inverter and the loss of power to the flight instruments. To restore power to the flight instruments, place the instrument power switch in the standby position. Instrument power will be supplied by the 1500 volt ampere inverter. The T2V is equipped with a forced air boundary layer control system to increase low speed stability and to lower stalling speed. When the boundary layer control switch is placed in the on position, air is bled from the engine compressor manifold and forced over the surface of the wing flap. The flow of boundary layer control air over the upper surface of the flaps eliminates trailing edge turbulence, thereby increasing lift. 